Does Hestia know you? Oh, yeah, clearly. We're on a wrong name basis. And now we're here, and there aren't any monkeys being friends with lions! Okay, no one said for sure there'd be monkeys, honey. I'm not gonna arrest them. He's a good boy! He's a good boy! Being your muse no longer amuses me. It's pretty good you can use that, but that's it! I'm done with your show. From the Great North to Wonder Wharf! All right! Hello, everybody, and welcome to a brand new episode of From the Great North to Wonder Wharf, your one-stop destination for bento box information. As always, I am Mike. And I am Abby. Yes, JB is currently on a flight back home from his um, birthday vacation. He may be watching right now. I don't really know, but we uh, hope he had a great trip. He'll be back next week, but of course, um, this week, I wanted to get somebody else in the seat. And I don't You're pointing the wrong way. Huh? You're doing it the wrong way. Other way. Yeah, I'm on this side. I didn't want to do the show by myself. So <laughs> I was like, fuck it. Let's, let's ask Abby because we have. I know, everybody. Freaking, all right, everybody. Hi. Calm down out here. Jesus Christ. See, they yeah. love me. Yes, Abby's here, everybody. So we're going to. We're going to chit-chat about the new episodes. Um, we have some uh, news that I know a lot of folks have been waiting on, uh, specifically the Toddland WonderCon um, releases, informations, pre-orders, what exactly is being released. Got all that information. If I got it on my – hold on. I got it on my uh, – wait for it. Wait for it. Wait, keep waiting. Keep waiting. Got it, got it all on my phone right here. Ooh. So we're going to discuss all that, tell you exactly when pre-orders start, what's coming out, how much they run, um, and all that information. And then following tonight's episode, um, we'll post all of this uh, on our Instagram page so you can see exactly what you're getting into and uh, when you can get your hands on it. Um, in the meantime, Abby, how are you? I'm good. We don't get to chit-chat a lot because you usually – it's usually just like, Abby, we need you to tell everybody we're going live, or Abby, we're having an issue. Take care of it. Yeah. Um, so it's fun to have you in front of the camera tonight. So thank you. Thank you. I'm excited to be here. We're excited to have you. And clearly the chat is too. So hey, hello. Adam. Hello, Devil Horns. And hello, Trust Ego. I um, didn't say hi to you. They said hi to me. Hi, Adam. Hi, Devil Horns. Hello, audience. Um, while I put Abby on timeout for a hot second, I'm saying hello. Um, trust Ego, uh, quick question. Where are you located? Are you stateside? <laughs> there you go, Abby. You good? You get out yeah. your system? <laughs> hey, Adam. Hey, bud. Um, yeah, Trust Ego, are, are you are you based stateside? I, just random question I know, but just curious. Um, well, you're that. Let's get into the news while we wait. Uh, a little bit of a bummer of a news. Uh, next week, there is no Bob's Burgers episode again. Um, we're getting another Crapopolis, another Grimsburg, and another Great North, which is great. Yeah. Um, but no Bob's. Uh, why is that? I don't know. Um, I don't. That's not our decision. If you were here last week when we had our impromptu uh, yeah. conversation with Mario and um, Aaron, you know that's a network decision. Yeah, it's not. It's not Bob's personally trying to make us sad. It's the network that's trying to make us sad. Yeah. So, so don't, don't go out stop there asking us. We yeah. don't know. We don't know. We don't We're work just as upset. We're just, we don't work anywhere. Yeah. We we don't know what the next episode is. We don't know when it's coming out. All we know for certain 
is there are more episodes of season 14 coming out and season 15 is official. So, um, yeah. Hey, Cloudy in the chat on uh, YouTube. For those of you who don't know, um, and I'm sure you follow this person on YouTube, whenever you see a um, Bob's Burgers fan edit video or um, the closing credits, nine times out of ten, it's going to be from Cloudy's account there. They have like 11,000 followers, and we're trying to figure out how the hell they're so good at YouTube and we suck, and it's probably because of our content, but um, we're hoping to uh, pick their brain and uh, see, Devil Horns knows. Abby, do you know Cloudy? Uh, maybe. I don't do much on YouTube. I'm mostly on like Instagram and TikTok. She says that as she's on YouTube. I said I don't do much on YouTube. Fair enough. H hello, Cloudy. Uh, glad you can make it. I know you're over in the UK, so times are a little uh, wonky right now, but uh, glad you can come in and say hi. Uh, definitely come back next week because we're doing trivia, and I'll explain more about that a little later. Um, Let's see. More news, more news, more news. Toddland. WonderCon. Uh, sorry, I, I got distracted. Um, WonderCon pre-orders start tomorrow, the 19th. It will go until March 31st, which is the end of WonderCon. Excuse me. I also had a Pepsi, so I'm a little burpy. Um, so all the, all the orders... Oh yeah, why are you awake? Oh no, no, Cloudy, stay awake, stay here. We need uh, <laughs> we need the numbers. Don't go anywhere. Um, yeah, Toddland is releasing their uh, 2024 WonderCon exclusives. Uh, Pre-orders go up tomorrow, probably around noon California time, which is 3 p.m. Eastern time. Everybody in between, you figure out your times. It's it's not for me to figure out for you. Um, what's being released? We're getting pins, we're getting t-shirts, we're getting tote bags, we're getting stickers, we're getting the Luis Bunny Ears, both in the hoodie and just the normal hat. Um, those, I think the hats are going for about 25 bucks, whereas the hoodie itself is going for about $65. Um, if you are pre-ordering both WonderCon items and hoodie hoodie hat uh, combos or whatever, you'll need to do those in two separate orders, mainly because the hoodies and the hats are a little more, um, they take a little more time to be put together. So those won't ship until August, whereas WonderCon items, those will ship uh, probably around April 11th through the 15th is when those start shipping. So um, that's when you'll want to uh, um, figure out like which items you want. Yeah. Uh, as far as photos go, I have all those right here, um, but I can't share a screen on here. I don't know how. So those will be on our Instagram um, as soon as this episode is over with, which is in about another 50 minutes or so. So, um, But uh, yeah, uh, Abby, you, I showed you a couple of the items so far. Uh, do you think the fans will dig them and if so what of the items i think definitely there's a um now, the, now i will say this we can freely discuss it okay there's the one with um louise holding coochie copy that's super cute that mm -hmm. i would want to get um more there's the little um calvin and felix and like the little the little porthole from the movie mm -hmm. that's super cute too we don't really see a lot of merch of those two so i think that will People were really like that, and um, and pepperoni the pony. Yes, also. we are getting uh, pepperoni the buff pony um, in both a t-shirt and a sticker. Um, super fun. Uh, he's kind of leaning up against the. Um, I don't know what you call those things you tie horses to. I don't know. Just the like horse a, holders. Yeah, a, a stick. The horse stick, yes. yeah. Yeah. <laughs> the horse, the horse stick. He's kind of leaning up against the post, um, looking pretty. Post, dope. yeah. Horse post. Was it horse post? post. Um, leaning up against it, looking pretty dope. Um, we're also getting Bob and Linda as the sheriffs, but only in pin and sticker form. Um, we're obviously getting the burger of the day for WonderCon. We're also getting, uh, if if you've been on Instagram, you know I said Todd's been teasing the big graphic for this year and. Um, uh, 
got a photo of it. It's the entire family to include Teddy, uh, Jimmy Pesto, um, Andy and Ollie, Jocelyn and Tammy are there. Um, and I think regular size Rudy is there as well. They're all cosplaying as different things. Um, so it's, it's a very big graphic, which I believe also comes in the tote. Uh, the burger of the day comes in a tote as well, along with Luis holding the cooch copy. Um, and then of course the bunny ears and the hoodie. So devil horns. Have you seen the, have you seen them? Or are you just going off what we've already said? If you've seen them, that means they've leaked and it wasn't from us. Or did Todd post them? Sometimes um, he posts like right when we go live. I don't, unless, unless he did, I don't believe so. I know he did a um, little tease saying to uh, follow us and the San Diego Comic-Con blogs. No, nothing yet. Okay. But he has done little sketches, so maybe that's why he's seen it. All right, cool. So, yeah, all that will go on pre-order tomorrow, which is the 19th. Um, around noon California time, 3 p.m. Eastern time, the rest of the world, set your uh, alarms. Uh, these are timed pre-orders, so, again, they'll go until March 31st, so you have plenty of time to get all your pre-orders in. And once the pre-orders are done, they're done. Um you can also pick, if you're lucky enough to be going to WonderCon, you can pick up your items there, but you'll need to put in the order notes, pick up at WonderCon, not in the PayPal uh, notes. Like you need to put them in the order notes. If you ever op or order from Toddland, you'll know on their page, it allows you to put notes. You'll just need to do pick up. And if you don't do that, then odds are they won't have your order at WonderCon to be picked up, nor will they have the items in stock to just say, oh, here you go. Then we'll, we'll just cancel the ship order. Um, and then you'll just have to wait. Uh, so yeah, that's, that's really it. Um, if you have any questions about the merch, shoot them in the chat and I'll answer what I can, but if not, we'll post all the photos in the Instagram here at the end of the show. So, um, yeah. Anything else news wise you think is important there, Abby? Uh, I don't think so. I haven't really seen any, anything. Yeah. Nothing really new going on. Hello, yeah. Marlena. Hi. Hello. Oh, Adam, Cloudy, Devil Horns. Oh, oh, you're on the lookout for the uh, designs. We got them. We got them. We got the high res images. You're gonna love them, uh, especially that uh, pepperoni one. Yeah. Uh, and I will say this: um, two giveaway pins this year. Um, if you ever order from Thailand, you know you get the little circular uh, giveaway pins. There's gonna be one that goes out with the orders, and then a special edition one that you can only get at the fan meetup which is being hosted by our friend uh, Tina Apocalypse. Tina <laughs> yeah, Jesus Christ. Tina Apocalypse, once again, is hosting the WonderCon fan meetup, and uh, she will have her own set of um, pins to be given away there. It's a matching set of Bob and Linda. Uh, I believe um, they're Bob and Linda as the sheriffs. Uh, I, I don't know which one is being given away with orders and which one's being given away for the meetup, but um, the only way to get the other one is to go through the meetup or if you find them on eBay, pay the stupid amount. But that's up to you. Um, with that being said, that's all the WonderCon stuff until we post on Instagram. So I guess let's get into the new episodes. All right. All right. Um, which one do you want to start with? Um, let's do Great North first. All right. Great North. The hockey one. Okay, here's what I remember of the Great <laughs> North. The, um, the family, or the whole town, actually, are getting their annual um, sorry for drilling in your land checks. Yeah. Um, and Judy is on her high horse about uh, they're destroying the land and we're taking the money and I don't want this money and blah, 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 blah. And doing her, um, oh, hey, oh, uh, doing her little one woman play mm -hmm. about how uh it's bad but um and how people shouldn't be spending their money or accepting money from the uh oil companies but everybody else is on board with it uh let's see she then uses that money to invest in a local hockey team uh under the guise that they have a big audience where she could then spread her uh message to but little does she know that they don't um 
because they are bad. They are drunk and bad. They are bad. Because they are bad. Um, and then how how do they get a bigger audience? Uh, Judy starts to coach them. Yeah. To where they start winning again. Mm -hmm. And sobers them up, gets them winning, and um, so people start start coming again since. since yeah, because apparently Judy knows hockey like she knows curling. Um, which leads me to believe that she is an athlete of sorts. I mean, maybe yeah. it's just those two things, or maybe we'll learn she's an ice skater down the road. But, I mean, uh, are they super different? You like hit stuff hockey on ice. Hockey and curling? Yeah, you hit stuff on ice. No. <laughs> no, 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 it's not. Sports. One, curling, you, you slide something down a rink. You don't yeah, touch on it. on a rink, on ice. Yeah, but you don't touch it. You buff the thing you in front touch of it. In, you don't touch it in hockey either. The puck you do. Yeah, with the stick, not with your hands. Yeah, but in curling, you don't touch the stone at all. Once the person lets it go, you don't make contact with it. Then what are they doing? They're buffing the ice in front of it to either cause more friction or less friction so they can get it in the center of the uh, uh, bullseye. That's dumb. Or, or knock the stone. Or not How is that other. even a sport? It's essentially like cornhole. No. You, know, cornhole. you touch cornhole. No, no. In the, in the sense where like you got to throw the beanbag and essentially knock the other beanbag out of where oh, okay. you close. So essentially that's curling. So nothing like hockey. It's They're both on ice. They're both sports that are on ice. I can't argue with that. I can't argue with that. Um, You're right. Hockey is pretty much soccer on ice except with sticks. Yeah, but hockey's a real sport. Um, you think soccer I, isn't a real sport? I said what I said. You think curling's a real sport, but hockey it? But I didn't say curling was a real sport. I didn't say okay. curling was a real sport. <laughs> I, I said. Soccer is the hockey. realest sport. There's so much running. Yeah, but running's not a sport. Are you dumb? Where's the championships of running? Running's a, running's a sport. No, it's not a sport. No. Look it's up what sport means. Oh, boo to you, sir. Boo to you. Yeah. Boo to you. No, soccer's not a sport. It's it's. It, I mean, it's a good show in Ted Lasso, but as like far as the sport goes. Here, here's the thing, Abby. Here's the thing. It actually is a sport, but I don't care. I'd watch this podcast. We'll podcast this one. This one? You are watching this podcast. Oh, he means with me because I'm awesome. Oh, fuck. Well, maybe we'll be <laughs> back next week. So get don't get used to it, everybody. If you want to follow Abby, you can join our Discord. She's over there. That's true. Um, what, did, what did you think of the episode in general? I liked it. I didn't like it as much as last week's. I really liked last week's episode. Um, the one with getting cheesecake a job and I liked the side oh. story of beef at at the coffee shop I thought that was really cute I mm -hmm. him and the one of the moms don't know her oh. name yeah um start with a c maybe but um, wasn't it wasn't she also the mom of one of the kids yeah she's um she's Debbie's mom Debbie okay yeah Debbie's yeah. mom she's like they, I think they're cute together so I really liked that let's see Aaron says real like all sport is shenanigan rules for how Dex versus environment for dopamine. You you completely lost me there. Uh, it's not real like baseball's real. Wait, Abby, can you explain something to me? Am I missing something here? Dex versus environment for dopamine. I don't know what that means. Dex is in like dexterity? Or Dex. I know Dexter, if that's your jumbo. They're all silly, but also real. Baseball's that's probably real. what she means, yeah. Baseball's real. <laughs> Dexter, that's probably what she means. <laughs> Don't go favorite sports team, go. Ooh. Oh no, I'm thinking of go my favorite sports team. Sorry. Um, that's another podcast that's much better. Yeah, dexterity. Ha. Oh, well, no. No. I say boo to you. Boo to you, Aaron. Boo to you. Um I thought the episode was fine. Um I I, Judy, this season, she's taking a back seat. We discussed this last week, uh, which is understandable because it seems to be more of a beef driven season. Yeah. Um, but not particularly in this episode. This was more of a Judy episode and it kind of 
her her storyline was a complete swing and a miss for me, um, mainly because I found her so annoying. Um, and the hockey team actually called her out on it and put into words my rage. Yeah. Like, you, you have a point, and you have a valid point, but you're going about it a stupid way, which makes nobody want to listen to you. Um, which, not to get on my soapbox, but here we go. A lot of people today could take that lesson. Um, a lot of good messages out there being delivered terribly. Yeah. Um, so, luckily, Judy uh, took that to heart. And um, I wouldn't say I still got her message, but uh, at least she learned to calm the hell down and stop yelling at people. Yeah. Type Ethan and, and Moons, the way they use the money really irritated me. <laughs> like, if you feel so bad about it, donate it. Why are you buying something useless? Like, I get it's a show and it's silly, but like, put in real world perspective, if you feel so bad about having the money, don't buy something useless with the money. Give the money away. Did they feel bad? Yeah, he said that's why he doesn't buy any. He he said the more the more frivolous and useless the thing he buys is, the less mm. bad he feels about spending the money. Mm. So I'm like, girl, don't spend the money. <laughs> <laughs> like, what are we doing? I think it was a good, um, good. I don't know what the word I'm looking for, but like, obviously, Beef is her dad, much older, different generation. She's yeah. 16, full of piss and vinegar about something she doesn't fully understand. Or how to get her message across. And it showed like uh, he's lived with this his whole life. He kind of accepted yeah. it as things are. Same I just, with. Uh, I thought it was weird that they didn't have them like interact. Like she was mad at everybody, but like she didn't. Like what? <laughs> I don't. She was mad at like a bunch of strangers and she mm. was like low key, like Bleh, about the family, but she wasn't like, like talk to them. I, if, if they didn't have the hockey subplot then maybe there would have been more of a father-daughter yeah uh, i thought that was where it was gonna go yeah but no she she needed to learn the lesson for them because i i think they kind of painted themselves the writers uh painted themselves in the corner with having her do the hockey thing as well and then realize oh now we kind of have three different plots going on with yeah. judy and her objections the family over here doing five other different things and now hockey um, we need to combine Judy and the hockey thing since she's already there. Um, otherwise, we're going to lose 90% of one of those stories. Uh, yeah, there was a lot going on in this episode. Like, I'm just now remembering the gym and the smoothie stand. Like, there was, there was a lot going on. Yeah, and then um, going – were they at a yard sale? Did I – They went they – were at the, they were at the junkyard looking through junkyard. with um, Moon Dark. Beef and Ant Dirt. Yeah, what, what do you? What do you? We've only had a, had her in a couple of episodes. How do you feel about Aunt Dirt? I like her. I like her. It might just be because she's gay, but I do like her. <laughs> Which is weird because you hate Ham. So I love Ham. He's my favorite. I don't know. It's... I I think I think. It's a re I think she's a really smart character to include because, I mean, you can get so many stories from her of, like, reintroducing her to things in society. Yeah. I mean, yeah. there's a ton. There's a ton of stuff to do with that. But I, I like her. I don't know if I like her being at, um, like, every breakfast. But I like how she's not um, – she's just kind of sitting there. Like, she's not super – diving into the conversation so i kind of like it i kind of don't like it i don't like it because i don't like change but mm -hmm. i like it because i'm like oh they well they it makes sense the type of family they are they would obviously have her joining them for breakfast and being all all family shit so, stuff <laughs> so here's my hang up with it all i i feel like introducing a new family member is like bringing a dog onto a show yeah it, or so a new baby yeah, or a baby is like all of a sudden this now becomes a thing and now we have to get used yeah. to it. Much like you, I don't like change. Um I I thought you were just, I thought you were saying you didn't like you sorry. You said um you said it's just a nut it's just a new thing to deal with, much like you. I'm like, oh, oh yeah, what are you <laughs> being on the show? I have to deal with this too. And I don't like it. I don't like it. I'm telling you, I'm not like it. um 
I wouldn't mind her if we saw her every once in a while. I think Bob's does it perfectly with a big Bob and now Lily. We see them once mm-hmm. every five seasons. And that's enough. I think that's I think that's too little. I think I think doing like the Aunt Gail approach to Aunt Dart would okay. work. Would work I, I can I can dig that. She's not never there, but she's there enough and there's like or there's like mentions of her throughout right. even when she's not there. Now, my one hang up I had with and you mentioned this, like introducing her to the world and getting her uh acclimated to everything. Like how often could you do that story? Until you're like, oh, we're doing this again. Now she's got to learn how to separate her Oreos or something. What? You get... Shut up, Abby. <laughs> how often can you do the same storyline, but with I a different like dressing? Cute. Till you're like, ugh, again, now she's got to learn how to use a computer. There's I feel one. like it would be cute for, like, one-off jokes. I don't know if I would do, like, a whole um, storyline around it very mm-hmm. often. But like just being like, oh, what is that? Like every every couple episodes, I think that's cute. It's fun. Just a little one off. Just of, I, I don't know. I wouldn't mind her getting a girlfriend and just kind of going away and living with her for a while. Yeah, I want her to date the um, date the lady. The diner the lady. The diner. Yeah. yeah. Uh, sorry, just going through some of the chat here. Oh, um, should probably be doing that. So, yeah, you're a terrible co-host. Uh, full translation Dex in D and D is oh my god D and D can go eat a bag don't, of D's. don't talk don't D and D at him D and D can eat started. a bag of D's I am trying to play and it is ass you're trying to play though. huh you you're trying to play I'm tried trying I have like um I have like four buddies who are three buddies who all play it mm-hmm. and they're letting me play with them and um you're like their pet hmm. You're like their pet. It's stupid. They're like <laughs> roll uh, uh, twenty. I'm like, which which one? Just point which one I need to roll, and then you do the math. You don't even know the different dice. Yeah, I have a thing of dice, and I don't just know. Like, what. just look at them. Do you know how to count? You can figure out the dice. I don't if you know how to count. To. I thought it was just gonna be like a like one dice. You're like, all right, if you get a ten, then bet you can kill the dragon, and it's not. And I mean, I'm tired it's of it. Of that. It's not. It's not. Okay. We haven't run to a single fucking dragon since I started playing. Well, that's well. That just it depends on who you're playing with. I mean, uh, Chris, Josh, and John. So you need to tell them to find a dragon so we can start slaying dragons. Because I ain't done fuck all since we Who's started. Who's the dungeon master? John. I don't know John. I know Chris. Oh, you no different Chris. Oh, then I don't know any of them. Yeah. So that's not my business. So you need to tell them to find a dragon. Because right now we're fighting spiders. And this is not DNS. Spiders? I I, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. Maybe you're just playing with the wrong people. I don't know. They got books and they they know what they're talking about. And I'm like, all right, I'm just going to roll this. (laughs) Thank you, Devil Horse. False spell for money. Money, money, money. Money is great. I love money. Um... Oh, Cloudy wants to know, what episode do you think is a good starter for someone starting the Great North? Boy. Honestly. Like, right out of the gate, like the first two or three episodes. Yeah, really that's, what I'm, that's what I'm thinking. I mean, I, the first season is my favorite season. I would highly recommend. I mean, you, it's the type of show that really you could pick up on from, from any point, I suppose. But... Um, yeah. And not be like super super confused, but um, except for season three because we're diving into beefs. Um, well, actually, I, I would say no because they always bring up Kathleen, and until you know who Kathleen is, That's you're kind true. of in the dark about that. So I would say season one, episode one. Yeah, I would say from the beginning, it's not like a, it's not like if you started like a show like Stranger Things from the middle where you're really like, what the hell is going on? But like, oh, you, there's yeah. some stuff that you're not going to get. Yeah, if I you start at some random years. point, but you're not going to be like completely lost. Yeah. So, yeah, you don't have episode, to start from the beginning, but I would recommend starting from the beginning. Yeah, because episode one, you meet the entire family, you figure out yeah. who's who very quickly, find out Ham's gay, spoilers, and then you find out Kathleen, and that's really a primer for the rest of the se- our series. Yeah. So I think, yeah, season one, episode one's good. Yeah. Ooh. Thank you, Marlena. I love you too. <laughs> 
Hold on, I'm gonna I'm gonna get there. And if I see something stupid, I'm gonna call out on it. Uh Abby the Savage love here. Devil Horns, you don't know what you're talking about. You're a child. Um uh, Marlena. You're a him fan, so I gotta take you at your word, but I don't, <laughs> I don't trust you. Um there you go, Clyde. Okay, cool. All caught up. Um in have you caught up on season four of the Great North? I have right? all all but one episode I've seen. Where does this rank, or how does this fare amongst all the other episodes that you've seen so far? Um, this might be my least favorite. I haven't seen the very controversial opinion you're about to yell at me. I don't like the triptychs of any of the shows. I'm, you're about to kick me out. <laughs> Damn it! Okay. <laughs> Any more. I think it's simply because I don't watch movies, so I never get the references, so I don't really enjoy them. Oh, okay. Um, I haven't seen the trip for for this season yet. I've seen all the other episodes. It's just kind of like a, oh, again, for Fair. me. Fair enough. So, wait, I, that was... I, like, a lot of them I like where I'm like, oh, this is fun, but I know a lot of the jokes are going over my head. That was the season premiere, Abby. Yeah, I missed it. Jesus Christ. Okay. Uh, Devil Horns, I know. But unless you're 37 or old, or 38 or older, you're a child to me. Yeah. That's, that's just how it is. That's just how it is. I mean, there's some about of a taste since I never saw the movie. But... <laughs> people, 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 people. We need to watch more movies. It I'm, is, not, it, I'm a it, real bad movie watcher. It's Top Gun. Oh, me too. Um, My I don't top watch movies. favorite movies always upset people because they're like, "Are you are you serious?" Yeah. What, what's your favorite movies? Um, Bob's Bur the Bob's Burgers movie is my number one. Oh God. Um, The Grinch, nineteen sixty six, the original, the cartoon one. Okay. Um, and Scream Three, which everyone says is the worst one, but I love it. I think it's really no. good. Okay, Abby. Finally, you said something good. Um, <laughs> Scream Three is the best Scream. In the entirety of the series. Oh, so good. It is the best. It has Patrick Warburton in it, who is a 10 out of 10. Yeah. Um, I love the whole movie within a movie yes. kind of thing. Camp. Um, it's camp. I love it. Yeah. So Scream 3 is the best. I get um, dumped on. I've never had anyone agree with me on that. Yeah. Well, don't get used to it, but um, <laughs> Scream 4 is shit. It's not uh, shit. It's not good, but it's not. Well, nobody from the original was in it. That's not true. No, that was the one where they brought in like, um, like Allison Brie was in it, and yeah, but Sydney Sydney was in it. Dewey was in it. Hardly. Okay, I'm. It's just not true if you say nobody from the original was in it because that's Hardly. not true. But Nev Campbell's coming back for season our and episode our so, the seventh one. Yeah. So they must have paid her a boatload of money. Yes. Which sucks because spoilers for a movie that came out like two years ago, but they killed almost everybody in the main cast. Well, the, yeah. Is Courtney still alive? We, I think it was left on like a little bit of a cliffhanger. Like she was in the hospital hanging on, but it was like a, who knows? I think they tried to leave it like, cause they didn't know if she was coming back for the next one. Mm, but Dewey's for sure dead. Oh yeah. He's real. He's real dead. So they, they have to kill Nev in this next one, or Sydney. Um, otherwise, it's going to become like a Halloween. I don't think they will. Who are they going to have left? Doesn't, doesn't matter. This woman can only go through so much. Well, they already dumped. They got a perfect new cast, and then they said no, and they threw them away. And oh. I want to tear my hair out. <sighs> yeah. I, I don't know. It's it's stupid the way that all happened. Yeah. But I was least surprised that Jenna Ortega dropped out because she's busy as all get out. I, I yeah. never thought she was going to come back. She was going to find a way to squirm out of that. I uh, don't think so. She yeah. loved being in Scream. If you watch, I she did. If you watch like interviews and stuff, she was really excited. She. Yeah, but then Netflix backed up a truck and said, "Hey, you want to be Wednesday again?" And you're like, oh yeah, fuck yeah! I'll do 13 episodes of that and not one movie where she they're probably going to do multiple things, huh? She was going to do multiple things. Uh, I don't know. The the last. Do you don't know her like that. First off, <laughs> first off, I do. No, you uh, don't. 
I have plenty of young 20 year old actor friends and I know exactly how they think and she was never going to come back. Plus that whole plot line for five and seven was completely weak. So I'm good with them kind of scrapping that and trying to start over again. I don't know how they're going to do it. Um, but um, I wish them luck. I don't have high hopes. Me neither. Yeah. Um, Cause they're having to go back and essentially retcon a bunch of stuff. Yeah. And then how are they going to find a new bad villain to fit in with the already established story of Sidney Prescott? So unless Matthew, Matthew Lillard is still alive because everybody thinks he's still alive. I don't think, I don't know. I don't know says that, but I think they, I think if they have nothing else, they might do that. But like realistically in the past six movies, it wouldn't have come up that he was still alive. I don't know if they ever thought they'd bring Sidney Prescott back. So who else can, like what other sister of a cousin of somebody who was murdered is going to come back? Yeah. Like how many people hate Sidney Prescott in order to do that? I don't, I don't know. We'll figure it out. It's not like Saw, which makes complete sense. I've never um, seen Saw. Crapopolis. Crapopolis. Let's talk about Crapopolis. This was the, um, I think this is the penultimate episode for the season. I think we have one more. Um, but this was the Eclipse episode. Yeah. Um, all, all I remember from this is Matthew Berry's uh, angelic voice singing to me. That's all I remember. Okay. There was, so the there's a Eclipse and everyone's freaking yeah. out. They originally say that Zeus puts the moon in front of the sun when he gets mad. Yes. Um, but they act like this is the first time that they've ever seen an eclipse, right? Well, they said, well, in their lifetime, like in the human's lifetime, okay. they haven't seen it. Okay, okay. That um, checks out. Speaking so, of, are we getting an eclipse this week? Yes. Okay. I don't know what day, but... Be on the lookout for that, but don't look at it. Don't look at it. That, that was a fun... I liked that... Um, New scientific discovery. Don't look too closely at the eclipse. That was cute. I like that. Um, yeah, I thought it was it was it was a fun app. I liked it. I wasn't uh, Crapopolis is very hit or miss for me personally because mm -hmm. um, some of the characters I really like. Like I really like um, Stupendous and um, Tyr no not Tyr uh Hippocampus mm -hmm. and Schlub. Of course. And pretty much everyone but Tyrannus, I like. Same. <laughs> I really don't like him. Same. I, I don't I don't know if it's because I don't enjoy the actor all that much. I don't. I think he's just, everyone else is just so fun and cool, and he's just not. He's just very whiny. He, he's yeah. the straight man to everybody else's yes. humor, that's, I suppose. That's, why, that's probably why I don't like him. Yeah. <laughs> the Eclipse is on April 8th. All right, bet. Thank you. I gotta get um, those yeah, but I liked it. I think um, seeing more gods is always cool. Um, was um, one of the gods played by Steve Buscemi? Or not gods, but I can't remember. Was he? No. Was Steve Buscemi in this episode? I could have sworn I heard his voice. Where? In the episode, Abby. No, <laughs> I don't think so. I'll look it up. I know Chris Parnell was in it, though. He played the... Yeah, he was... The guy uh, who was all up on uh, Stupendous. Aries. Um, and then... Aries. I don't know. Uh, Crapopolis and Grimsburg, we'll get to it. They're... They, they kind of... Or Crapopolis kind of started off cool for me. I was like, all right, I can see where this is going. And then the episodes, at some point, just didn't get better. Oh, and you it, were right. Like, he, he was Hephaestus. Boom. Okay. Um, it's so like the episodes didn't get better. They kind of just plateaued and then stayed. Um, so I, I'm not really excited. I'll watch them just because they're there and yeah. we cover them. But I, if I miss, like, if I go on vacation and I miss a week, I'm like, oh, okay, I'm not too concerned about it. There, there's nothing really there for me. Um, it's I missed it's, like four episodes, I think. <laughs> I'm like four episodes behind. It's um, it's it's something. It's gonna have its three seasons. 
Yeah. And I'll keep checking it out because I enjoy the cast and I am curious yeah. as to where it's going. Um, it's not Duncanville. It's not Housebroken where I'm. I liked like, Duncanville. I. <laughs> I don't like children. And that yeah. was a children's show. Yeah. Not a, not a kid's show, but like a show yeah. about children. There were children in it. Yeah. Yeah. I don't like that. Yeah. Ooh. And also uh, something that is specific to me. I didn't like the animation where he had like the noodle arms. The I show. thought that was fun. I like that. Mm. But that also got three seasons and then got shit canned. Yeah. Um, so I'm curious. I don't know if Dan Harmon's star power is enough to keep it going on Fox. Because if Amy Poehler's isn't, I don't know how big yeah. that person is. Um. But then again, he does have a following with Rick and Morty. But Rick and Morty and Crapopolis are two completely different monsters. There's, yeah. Different audiences, different everything. Um, yeah, I, there's like, I feel like the only person who watches both is Dan Harmon. Yeah, yeah. Who, I, like, I, I, who likes both is Dan Harmon. I, I enjoy Rick and Morty, but Crapopolis, it, I, don't, I don't know what it can do to step its game up. Yeah. Um, Get rid of Tyrannus. Let everyone else. Yeah, kill him. Kill him. Kill him and and have the whole family kill him. Bonding exercise. Oh my god! And then make him a god, maybe. No, make him dead. You can't make him dead. <laughs> make him dead and gone. I, I don't know. He's just so boring. Everybody's like, "Oh, he was great in the IT, uh, the IT crowd, along with Matt Berry." And I was like, "That show fucking sucked too." I, um, see. I don't. I never care about like the actors behind the voices. It's the characters um, that get me to. Oh, so you hate our every Wednesday Hello Vo uh, series on Instagram? Then I like learning, but I mean that how much I like the actor doesn't impact how I feel about the character. Oh, fair enough, fair enough. Yeah, I, I can do like that. at like who they are and stuff like that. I think that's fun, but. If I'm like, oh my god, I love this actor, and then the character sucks, I'm not gonna be like, oh, it's it's okay. Well, I, I'll give it to this guy. He's consistent. Like both his live action characters and his cartoon characters are not funny. So at least I know, like, oh, I know what I'm getting with you. This isn't just like a one off thing. You're just not funny across the board. Do not request him to be on the show. <laughs> He'll never come. He, he's, <laughs> I know. But... He's way too important to get on here. Yeah. Uh, now if we can get Hannah, then that'd be fantastic. Any, um, any, any of them. Yeah. I love her. I was gutted because they were doing Crapopolis at uh, Comic Con and she was the only cast member who couldn't show up. Oh. I was like, well, what are we doing here, man? Shut it down. Shut it down. Let's but see. Matt Berry was cool. Yeah. Well, of course. Yup. In Texas, I feel like I missed 90% of what we were talking about. <laughs> What's in Texas? What's in Texas? What's in Texas, Yahoo? Mm. Okay. Um, uh, Crapopolis, you're kind of caught up on that. Oh, no, you said you missed four episodes. I missed four episodes. Okay, then I won't ask you. I'm more. caught up on Grimsburg. Okay, then let's talk about Grimsburg. Another show new this season, in its first season. We're about six episodes into the season at this point. Um, I don't know how many are they getting their first run, but let's say 16 or 17, like Grimsburg. Yeah. Um, Personally, oh, well, actually, the episode. Uh, they're doing a murder mystery for this um, billionaire um, who has a train house, house train, something. Um, he ends up being murdered for real, and then they have to find out who the murderer is, um, and then hilarity ensues. Yes. Um, what? First off, since this is your first time or first time in a while on the show, what do you think of Grimsburg in general? I like it. I really like I really like the concept, but this is coming back to what you said earlier. I hate children. I hate that little kid. Hate him. God, yes. I know you don't watch the show unless you're on it, like North to Wharf Abbey, but yeah. me and JB hate the kid as well. You know, I do like, watch it. I'm just that I'm We hate the child. I'm here like every week. Yeah, but like it's on mute or whatever. It's you're hardly interacting with the audience. It's it's very off-putting. People have mentioned it in the comments. I don't. I don't know. You done? 
All right. So um, you're getting DMs. Oh, the solo. <laughs> um, yeah, I really, I love Rachel Dratch. I, I adore her with my whole heart. Is that this is like what I said. Yeah, she voices Stan the Kid. Oh. I can hear that now. Yeah. Like, this This was like what I said earlier, where no matter how much I like an actor, if your character sucks, I'm not fucking, I'm not messing with it. I'm sorry. What the fuck? <laughs> uh, yeah, that whole, uh, I have an imaginary friend, and it's like my dark passenger, if you guys have watched it, actually, you know what I'm talking about. Um, he's my little devil on my shoulder. It's so played out and annoying, and children suck. Um, he's so whiny. So I'm over him, um, which is weird because in Crapopolis, the one character who acts like a child is the one we hate as well. Yeah, but he's a grown adult. So, um, but yeah, I I enjoyed the premise of Grimsburg. The execution has been a little hit or miss for me. Yeah. Um, we're trying to figure out: Are they trying to do like uh, X Files Monster of the Week with one overarching story? Um, for those who watch X Files, um, a handful of episodes were always like, uh, "This is a different case uh, each week." But then overall, it was always about aliens. Yeah, I mean, uh, most crime most crime shows are like that. Like they have a overarching story as well. Mm -hmm. I feel like it has to. Like that's it better. It, um, <laughs> that's like the whole thing. But um, I just I get so I get so into the show and I'm like, oh, this is so fun. And then that kid shows up and I'm like, no. He ruins it. He completely <laughs> sucks and I hate him. I also hate the wife or the ex-wife, as it were. No, I love her. I don't. I don't I mind mean, her, but when she starts bringing up the I was raised by bears thing, I was like, Ugh. That's my favorite part. <sighs> it's funny because then she's like jumping around. Love it. Maybe maybe it's like a twenty year old's humor. I don't maybe, maybe I'm just too <laughs> refined. Um, I I think this is in my top two or three episodes of Grimsburg so far. This is definitely my favorite. I really? Love okay. Yeah. I, hate I love um my favorite type of mysteries are like murder in one room with like set amount of suspects type of mysteries. Love that. Like, also like Clue. Yeah, and like yeah. murder, murder on the Orient Express. Mm -hmm, so that's mm -hmm. like what the title was based off of. Um, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I love, I love those type of things. So I was already very excited, and then the costumes and the way that they split off was super fun. Mm -hmm. um, I love, yeah, I really love pretty most of the characters. I really enjoy, other than that kid. I don't enjoy the chief. I'm not. Uh, yeah, I'm not. It um her character seems like um how do I put this? She seems like she's there to make fun of a certain group of people. Yeah. Um I could see that. Yeah, and I'm like, sure, like we may not all agree on stuff, blah 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 blah. But that seems to be like low hanging fruit or punching down. Yeah. I'm like, yeah, come on. We have enough of that. Yeah, and I think it's weird that she's like not doesn't seem that important. Like uh um what's his butt? Kang, is that his name? Yes. The he, lieutenant yes. with the puffy coat. He's yeah. like in my head, he's the chief and she's just yeah. like the receptionist, but like he's <laughs> because she's a woman? Wow. Yes, Abby. I hate women. Wow. <laughs> wow. <laughs> Click that. Click that. Okay. Um yeah, but I don't, I don't, I don't really like her very much. The rest of them, the rest of them, I enjoy pretty much. The doc, doctor, no, he's not a doctor. Um, oh, um, the prison man. Yeah, the Hannibal Lecter ish. Yeah, character. love him, especially in this episode. Him and Kane were so funny, and I'm rooting for them. I ship it. I like it. I was going to say, I don't know if something's going to happen there. What's going on there? I like they, it. They made it seem like maybe. I love it because. I would be so for that. At the end, they were like, you know, after this is done, we have to go back to how we were. And I was like, do you mean love. as like adversaries or like not a thing? I love it. I was like, all right, all right, I'll see where this goes. It added a little more uh, layers to those two uh, particular characters. Yeah. Um. So I'm all for that. Much like you, I enjoy the uh, murder mystery of it all. Like, um, yeah. 
the setting, the dinner setting. Um, love the movie Clue. Absolutely love that movie. Love that movie. Yeah. Uh, so it's one of the only classics I've seen. <laughs> classics? It's, I wouldn't say it's a classic. It's like a cult. cult it's it a cult. Like a yeah, cult yeah. Cult. Up there with like it's Rocky Horror. Yeah. 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 Which also I've seen more too. stuff like that than I have like movies that everyone, like The Godfather and stuff. I've never seen I've that. Never seen that. Yeah. He, he, he probably not. Nah, I don't. That's not. Actually, we do have. Uh, oh no, it's not a Godfather. It's a Scarface. Oh, wait, no. Is it a Godfather or Scarface? I think it's Scarface. That's being referenced in season fifteen of Bob's Burgers. Oh. Um, but you cannot see that too. That's fine. That's I mean, I never get any of the <laughs> any of the references. I haven't. I haven't seen any of the shows or the movies that they do the triptychs on. So I'm just kind of like. Eh. Well, in your defense, uh, Top Gun came out like 30 years ago, so you yeah. haven't really had time to to watch it. So I get that. Um, yeah, hey, you don't necessarily need to see those to get the references, though. I would think, like, I've never seen an episode of Game of Thrones, um, but I know the references. Uh, I got like I've gotten like a couple, but most of them I'm like, like I love I love the. Gale of Thrones. I think that's my favorite triptych. I like that mm -hmm. one. Um, but yeah, they just don't. I don't like them as much as normal episodes. Mm. I would say for like the season four episode one of The Great North, as long as you know Bob Ross and you know yeah. fighter planes and you know they kind of like not really go together, that's where the humor lies. Not so much in the references, okay. other than the goose bit. Um, but that's just that's just. Um, but yeah, uh, what did you, and you're all caught up on Grimsburg, right? Yes. What did you, you said this was your favorite? This one, this episode, yeah, this was my favorite. Okay. Do you see this show kind of finding its footing not until season two, or do you think, we're, I would say we're close to the halfway point now. Do you think it can, like, change its trajectory and people will start caring about it or does it kind of fall into the it's not bob's burgers nobody's going to check it out because let, let's let's call it like we see it nobody's talking about grimsburg no i feel like it's i feel like no matter how how good it gets it's not it's not bob's burgers it's not family guy yeah so people people aren't going to go to bat for it um so it really, really needs to get better. I'm like, <laughs> I'm, I'm like, just let me do it. Cause like, well, the idea, like the idea is so good. And just give me a big eraser, take that kid off of the board and then run and then keep going, do what you're doing. I think it's come out at a bad time where I don't know how many seasons got greenlit for Grimsburg. I think maybe one or two. Yeah. Um, but it's like Bob's Burgers came out. And season one, it was like, everybody was like, I don't know if we're getting renewed. Season two was yeah. like, I don't know if we're getting renewed. And they were like that for like the first three or four seasons. And people were like, oh, you just got to give it a shot. You just got to give it a shot. I don't know if shows today have the luxury of like, oh, you just got to give it three or four seasons. No, they don't. Because they, they get don't do that anymore. Yeah. I mean, even shows that are universally loved get canceled mm -hmm. all the I mean, time. I, so yeah. Yeah. Unless, unless, people aren't, aren't rocking with it. And they don't already have the contract to do more. They're not going to do more, especially with like Netflix. Like they, they're notorious Netflix, for like Netflix wants years. to cancel all of their shows. They find all their good. They find all their shows that have queer characters in them, and then they and then they knock them off. Well, because those stories are boring, Abby. Boring, and nobody relates to them in real life. No, go sports. Um, Unless you can like a show like Wednesday or a show like Stranger Things where you can tie it to merchandise, yeah. your show's done after two seasons because they can't yeah. make any money off of it, especially on Netflix. Yeah. Um, if they don't have a slew of new um, subscribers, I don't know how they make money. Yeah, because I saw a thing on Twitter the other day. People were talking about like how someone was like, why don't you watch any new shows? And they're like, because I get attached to something and then cancel it. Because it's a big thing right now where like, people my age are going back and watching older shows mm -hmm. um, because that's back when you could have like eight, 10 seasons of a show mm -hmm. and get like a proper conclusion and stuff. Like I don't watch other than, other than like Bob's and this stuff, I don't watch anything that's still on. Yeah. 
I'm coming to realize I don't really watch TV unless it's these shows that are like a lot of the shows like Letterkenny. I watch that, but that's done. I do too. Love, yeah, love love that last show. season, I don't know. I'm um, not. I have. I'm in. I'm on season three. Oh, okay. Oh, you got to ride. You got to yeah. ride, my friend. Um, time to get some of that. Uh, the spinoff Shorzy is pretty good. Um, so check that out. But yeah, I don't. People think because like me and JB do this show that I'm all up on animation like i don't watch mm -hmm. cartoons beyond this bob's great north uh central park when that was on uh grimsburg and crapopolis i don't mm -hmm. follow uh i don't know what's a popular cartoon um something about gnomes i, don't, I didn't follow that shit. uh all the studio ghibli stuff i don't care about it yeah um what are talking? oh sorry <laughs> my uh wife texted me um, but yeah, I don't, uh, really follow up on that stuff and it sounds like you're in the same boat. Like I, I find yeah. my comfort shows and I don't stray far from those. Yeah. Same. Sorry. Well, about I would watch something new when I could rewatch Bob's Burgers for the millionth time. I, I'm at that point now and it's great, especially with this show. And I haven't run into the issue just yet. Uh, it's a meal with Mountain Dew Soft Taco. All right. Mountain um, Dew Taco? Huh? Ew. No, 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 no. My wife said, do you want anything for Taco Bell? I was like, quesadilla meal, Mountain Dew, soft taco. Oh, I thought you meant a Mountain Dew soft taco. <laughs> Ew. Are they doing that? Uh, oh, she, no, steak. All right. Um, Yeah, I find my comfort shows, and I don't stray far from those. So I'll watch the same thing over and over again. But the great thing that um, when I used to do lettuce ketchup is um, – and I'm no longer finding this to be the issue is watching Bob's burgers. Now doesn't seem like a chore when back then it was because I was doing it to pull content from, and I wasn't enjoying yeah, the show, yeah. but now I found like my second win and I can go back and enjoy the shows while still pulling content and still doing work. Um, so I'm glad that it hasn't happened yet. The burnout hasn't happened. Yet. Yeah. I get like that about wrestling. Sometimes I just have to take a break. Well, wrestling hasn't been good, Abby, since the attitude. Wrong, of, wrong. Since the attitude. Hey, era. You're not watching the right companies, bitch. Sorry. Since the attitude era. Unless you tell me there's a company that is um, putting this uh, CEO's daughter on a cross and then crucifying her on live TV. I don't want to hear about it. That's that's what you want? That was the height of wrestling. Uh, no, that was the maybe the height of storytelling. Yeah, it's pretty dope. I wouldn't say the height of storytelling. I would say it was pretty good. Right. I just would say it was fun. Right. AEW, New Japan Pro Wrestling, are those are those girls? I don't I don't mess with WWE. She gets trash. I hate her. Oh my god. W um, New Japan. Let's go. Let's go. Uh, Jason, we just got done discussing um, <laughs> Crapopolis, Grimsburg, and uh, Great North. Now we're just kind of shitting on wrestling at this point. No, uh, you're shitting on Re – well, I'll shit on WWE all day. WWE – how old are you? I'm 20. Okay. Okay. Um, I've watched a lot from the Attitude Era. Don't yeah, it was the greatest that. era of TV in general. That's good. Um, uh, uh, mankind being thrown off the top of the case through a table and getting his freaking incisors through his nose. Yeah. That's – peak that's the type of stuff they do in over at aew check it out yeah but their characters are stupid and nobody cares about them have you seen have you watched i don't need to i don't need to um or are uh are they are you going to tell me that uh they dug up uh one of the wrestlers wives and then drug the casket through the arena while the grieving widow was on top of it crying and pounding on it to get it to you stop. You got that wrong. That was his father. And it wasn't through the arena. It was like a off off production. Oh no, it was. It was on the front lawn. You are correct. Yeah. Are I know. Correct. I know everything. I don't know what's going on here. Don't worry, Yahoo. Don't worry. We, we just got on a tangent yes, here. Yes, age doesn't equal in ignorance. As as for example, I just corrected you on something. First off. Age doesn't equal ignorance. Age does equal ignorance, Toasty. No, it doesn't. I'm smarter than you, and I'm half your age. I don't like Grimsburg. The other shows are perfect. Uh, <laughs> uh, 
<laughs> I love that. Straight to the point. <laughs> I, love uh, that. I don't know about that one, Jason. I don't know about that one. Um, <laughs> That's really funny. Uh, the Great North is pretty good. Yeah, I, I will say if it's if we're going on a scale of one to ten, I'd give it about a eight and a half, nine. Uh, Bob's yeah. Burgers, of course, being a ten, it's a great show. Yeah. Um, Grimsburg, I'd give it about a six. Same. It has promise. Yeah. Um, Crapopolis needs to figure their crap out. Uh, they're about sixteen episodes in, and right now I'd put Grimsburg over Crapopolis at this point, just because of the promise. And yeah. the premise, I think, is much better. I love the premise of Grimsburg. I've been wanting a show like this for years, and it's not doing what I want it to do, which is pissing me off. But I'm still like holding out. Like, eh. is There's... is JB in his is JB correct in his um, assumption or not? Maybe not assumption, but comparison to Twin Peaks because I've never watched Twin Peaks. I've never seen it. Okay, fair enough. Then I'll have to ask him. Oh no, uh, Colleen. Oh, actually, you did, but I'll I'll repeat it here in a second. Um. Oh. But yeah, um, Just, I'm so here for Abby calling you out more often. The people want me here. Well, then you gotta tell JB's off the show. I don't know. One, 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 one. No, because I have no. the passwords. I'm not going anywhere, baby. So let's have three people. We can. We can shit. We have three people on here. But wait, if it wasn't for Deliria, crap would suck. <laughs> Deliria over like Stupendous and and Hippo. Hey, I love Hannah Waddingham as much as the next person, and I'll watch her open a bag of chips. But um, <laughs> that show needs to figure its shit out. Yeah, so, I don't know. Um, but yeah, anything else on the shows we should cover or opinions you may have before I uh, recap the um, Todland stuff right quick. I would just like to reiterate that kid fucking sucks. Hate that. Yeah, kid. fuck kids. Or no, kids kids suck. Don't fuck kids. Yeah, that's the law. No, I hate I hate children, and that child in particular makes me very upset. That was the, the one show. I, was... I think the show is really good, and then he's just there, and I'm like, ah. That's the one so thing that almost got right with the episode. I think it was last week or the week before, where stupendous and. Hippocampus, they're like, ah, oh, kids suck. Kids are the worst. We should kill them. I'm like, hell yeah, yeah. do it. Yeah. You won't, um, and they didn't. So, uh, Grimsburg is doing too much, too fast, and they hit a group. Yeah, I, I agree with Toasty on that one. Is trying to do a lot in season one in its first handful of episodes. Yeah. Um, now, so. my advice: kill off the kid. Kill off the kid. In fact, kill the only the children, that, which is weird because. I like the kids in Great North and Bob's, but those are two good shows yeah, in general. Yeah, I love them. Yeah. Because those kids don't suck. Uh, it's like how the Great North was. Like, everyone just kept talking and talking like, man, don't y'all need some <laughs> room tone? The fuck's room tone? <laughs> What's room tone? What's room tone, Jason? <laughs> I don't know what's room tone. But that's every show. Every show has a lot of talking. Um mm -hmm. I don't know what Jason's talking about, but I really, I really like their energy. Yeah, I, 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 mean, I uh, like every other show is perfect. I hate Grimsburg. That's, I disagree, but it's more. really funny. Crapopolis, perfect. Historically yeah. accurate, great. Um, and room tone. I don't know what that means. Is oh, room tone is silence that is needed to capture sound for noise reduction. Oh, bet. Okay. Okay. Well, thank you. Now we've learned something. Good to go. Jason, were you the one that commented on the unboxing video that's on our channel? Was that you? The one I was like, uh, is this um, unboxing therapy ripoff? Was that you? I'm not mad. I'm just curious. A hate comment? No, I don't. I didn't take it as a hate comment. I was like, I was like, is this Jason? Because like one person was like, is this is a uh, um, unboxing therapy ripoff, and I was like, ah, it's just an unboxing. Like. <laughs> Maybe. I don't know what unboxing therapy is, but maybe. Jason cooking. Huh? Oh, yes. That was, <laughs> yeah, that was me. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Fair enough. I'll have to check out what, um, oh, oh, I don't know. That, that, um, that was shot in my wife's <laughs> office. Uh, I assume their quality is much better, though. Um, so I don't know. I don't know what unbox therapy is, but I'll check them out. Are they, are they 
cool old unboxing. Oh, I'll have to check them out. I have no idea. No, it was just an unboxing of a cool right. figure I had. Sorry. I'm joking. <laughs> I'm joking, of course. Um, so, yeah, that was our uh, quick reviews on the episode. Some wrestling talk. Uh, Anti-children movement. Um, the whole nine yards. Um, I'll go back. JB's and not here to pitch, to pitch his. Yeah. <laughs> kids are Shut up. Yeah. We get it. We get it. You like kids. You have. We one. get it. Yeah. You have a kid. And <sighs> okay. Those breeders. No. Um. Oh, <laughs> Devil Horns. We've covered so much. Um, we have, we've talked about everything. Yeah, everything. Our disdain for children. We make not enough wrestling time. talk. Um. Maybe we'll. Maybe we'll have you check in like once a month on your wrestling stuff and yeah. catch us up on the last twenty years. Um, that's a lot. <laughs> Even just catching you up on like two weeks is a lot. I don't wanna. Um, but here, let me recap Todd Land real quick, and then um, I'll uh, tell everybody about trivia that we have coming, and then we'll wrap this bad boy up. Cool. Yeah. All right, uh, Todd Land pre-orders for the Luis Bunny Ears hat, Luis Bunny Ears hoodie, and all the WonderCon items will start tomorrow, the nineteenth, at around noon Pacific time. That's 3 p.m. Eastern time. The rest of the world, Google it, and I'm sure it'll tell you when you need to pay attention. Those pre-orders will go until the 31st of March. Um, WonderCon items will start shipping April 11th through the 15th, I believe. Um, if you get the Luis Bunny Ears and the hoodie, those need to be ordered separately because those won't ship until August. Um, I think August 1st is around when those are doing it. So if you're doing a pre-order for a bunch of items, do those separately. Um, if you're going to pick up your stuff at WonderCon, you'll need to put that in a note in the order section on toddland.com to say pick up uh, at WonderCon because um, if you don't, they're not going to have your stuff there to pick up and you're going to be shit out of luck and you're just have to wait till they ship. Um, it said all the links will go live tomorrow. Um, as soon as this is done, head over to our Instagram page and you'll see photos of all the items being released. Uh, some really cool stuff. Yeah, Pepperoni the Buff Pony, um, Felix and Calvin in a porthole, uh, Bob and Linda Sheriffs, a bunch, a bunch of other stuff. Um, so yeah, all that going on. We also have trivia March 25th. That's next Monday. Uh, we're doing it different. It's going to be Jeopardy style, meaning we're going to have a whole fancy board, probably made of just like poster board, uh, six different uh, categories with six different questions. It'll be JB versus the rest of the internet. Um, we may have Abby play the role as a spokesperson for the um, the audience, so she'll be the one to give the answers after she confers with you all, of course. Um, and then we'll figure out how it goes. We kind of just made this all up today, so we're kind of figuring out as we go. Uh, let's see. Mike's internal calendar to be looking like Tony Stark reading invisible screens. You, yo, Jeopardy, like, what, what? Yeah. So much going on. Okay. <laughs> um, Marlena says, thanks for stopping by, Abby. We'll get her on here more often. As long as she's cool with coming on, we'll have her. I would love to. Yeah. Sometimes she's busy because she's got life. I do. That's Sometimes. Bullshit. Sometimes you have to do the job you're not being paid for, Abby, so. <laughs> Thank you. But, Sometimes um, I have to do college things. Boo! Yeah. Nobody goes to college anymore. It's obsolete. Um, ask, um, That's true. ask all the millionaires on YouTube. What does Abby do? Like here or <laughs> in general? Guys, um, we're not here to ask Abby questions. This is how you open Pandora's box. Yeah. Know, everyone shoot. Your, everyone drop your comments for me in the. <laughs> everyone drop your questions for me in the comments. Um, I'm. I'm. My title is producer. I don't really know what I produce, but I I run the Discord, and I said I said. I, I will say before we move to the YouTube streaming, Abby did a lot more. For I us. did a lot more before before YouTube, and then they then and they cut me out. Then we learned how to do it without her. Yeah, and we still can't figure it out. So <laughs> Abby mo uh, moderates the uh, the uh, like I said the Discord channel. Um, whenever we have an issue that we can't quite figure out tech-wise, she steps in and takes care of it. Or if we need somebody yelled at, she'll yell at her, them for us because do. we don't like all the yeller. Yeah, you're a really good yeller. I am. Um, but yeah, beyond that, she's essentially uh, the third member of North to Wharf. 
Um, Adam being the fourth. Sorry, Adam. Um, <laughs> love that for you. <laughs> um, I'm a, I'm doing an IT program. I'm still in my general general studies right now, so I haven't taken any classes on IT, but I'm very di- I'm very busy doing my required ta- um, retire required um, teamwork class. So, so you haven't got to the computer part of IT? Not yet. yet. Still okay. doing, still kicking around the the gen eds. Mm, yeah, I know what that means. Yeah. Um, any questions for Mike? <laughs> what do you study? Life, Abby. I'm 38 old. <laughs> I'm 39. I'm studying life. I'm still trying to figure it out. Yeah. That's right, everybody. My birthday's coming up, by the way. Get me gifts. Get, when's, when's Abby's birthday? My birthday's coming up. <laughs> my birthday is August 25th. I'll be 21. My birthday is April 13th. I'll be 39. So, no, you'll mark be right there, Marlena. Marlena. Won't you be 40? I'll be 39, Abby. I just said it. I swear you already th- turned 39 last no, year. No, I turned 38 last year. Turning 39 sure? here. Poor Mike. Thank you, Devil Horns. Did you I'm ever lovely. did you ever order them cinnamon twists? No, I don't like cinnamon twists. I had them all the time when I was a kid, and then my friend got Taco Bell recently, and I was like, oh my God, get the cinnamon twists. Those are so good. And they got they got me some. They're ass. Yeah, they, they, they're essentially cinnamon dicks. They were like yes. my favorite thing as a kid. And I, I was so excited. I was like, oh my God. And I put one in my mouth immediately killed my vibe. I was like, I, yeah. everyone go home. I don't want to hang out anymore. Yeah, I hear that. I get that a lot. Yeah. Uh, JSP says, you don't look 40. Do I look 39 though? Mm. Uh, Nicole. <laughs> Nicole Love says, mine's August 20th, but I'll be 30. 30 is fine. Yeah. I know yours is next, Mike. Okay. But well, mine is before yours. Oh. Okay. Okay. Oh, no. All right. Sorry. Sorry. Okay. Cool. Uh, Abby, any parting words? Or does anybody else have any other questions for Abby they want to ask? Before I wrap the show up. Yeah. Other other than just reiterating again that the kid in Grimsburg sucks and they need to get rid of him. Yeah. Boo, children. Boo that child. Boo that child. Rachel Dratch, I love you. I love you with my whole heart. You can voice another character, but not that kid. That kid sucks. <laughs> so excited for 16 si- sixteen times size cheese it Oh, oh. Bet. Okay, I know what you're talking about. Like um, a big ass cheese it In the Crunchwrap Supreme. Yeah. They're putting a giant cheese it in it now. Why? I don't know because we're our country is just on a freaking express lane to a heart attack. Uh, crying and Miss Jeopardy. Oh no 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 no! No, it's cool. next week. It'll be next week. Yeah, we haven't done it. Uh, JB will be back uh, next week, and that's when we'll do Jeopardy. We just I love you too, Devil Horns. Calm down, everybody. Calm down. Uh, no questions for you, Mike. Okay. Hmm. Okay. Yeah, they've had enough of you. <laughs> Well, say goodbye to Abby, everybody, because you will be here next week. She'll probably be here. Next week. <laughs> She'll probably be here next week, if we're being serious. All right. Well, this has been from the Great North to Wonder War. If you're a one-stop destination for bento boxing information, as always, I am Mike, and I am Abby. Nope, other way. Yep, there you go. Yep. And yep. we, along with JB, will see you next week, same time, 8 p.m. Eastern, for uh, Bob's Burgers Jeopardy trivia. Um, oh, oh shit! Hold on, I didn't set this up properly. Hold on, <laughs> stand by. All right, everybody. See you next week. Uh, Bye. Yeah.